Hey guys, I have a quick and easy art journal page to share with you today. If you're wondering what happened to days 12 and 13 of 13 days of Halloween, so I hit a deer with my car about a week and a half ago, totaled my car, and I have spent every waking moment that I wasn't at work trying to find a new car, going to car dealers, oh, just, so I finally got a new car, and, but now I have these two Halloween art journal pages, or videos that I don't know what to do with because it's after Halloween obviously so I don't know so to say I'm sorry I have a quick and easy page to share today <laughs> so I'm starting out in my mini handmade art journal and I'm just putting down a piece of black cardstock in my book it's just like the cheapy black cardstock and I applied that with glossy accents and then I have this jelly printed paper here that I'm also going to apply with glossy accents to my page. Um, I made the jelly print using Dina Wakely Media Acrylics. They're my favorite paints for jelly printing. And this page already has a lot or this paper already has a lot going on. So I'm just going to do a little sprucing to bring it together. So I have this stencil that I cut out with my Cricut. Uh, it's an electronic die cutting machine. I just put a whole bunch of circles together and die cut it out of acetate. And I'm taking a yellow distress crayon and I'm just rubbing in those circles and then I'm using my finger to kind of like blend them out a little bit. And I'm just gonna concentrate that in the upper right and lower left corners. And then I had a little extra on my finger, so I put the stencil back down and kind of went over a few of those other circles for a lighter version. And then I'm taking this small stencil by uh, Heidi Swap, yep, Heidi Swap, and a picked raspberry distress crayon, and I'm doing the same thing, putting the color down and then rubbing it out with my finger. <laughs> okay, so, um, then I thought maybe I wanted to add this um, strip of uh, colored muslin, but first I wanted to decide what focal image. So I had this painted bird already in my stash, and it's also painted with Dina Wakely Media acrylics. And um, then I'm gonna stamp the same bird stamp. Uh, it's the Scribbly Birds from Dina Wakely Media. And I'm gonna stamp that twice in red ink on my background. And um, it just kind of helps bring the focal image together with some repeating elements in the background. And I like things in multiples of three. So I'm gonna do a little background stamping. I have the mesh texture background stamp from Viva Las Vegas Stamps and a pink archival ink. And I'm just gonna stamp that all around. And I have this Chevron also by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I'm gonna use that pink ink, pink ink also for that. And then I'm going to take a little darker of an ink. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I made this page. I'm wa like watching it as you guys are watching it and doing the voiceover. <laughs> so now I'm going to take a little bit of gesso or white paint will work and this Tim Holtz stencil and just concentrating it in the corners around my page. And then Underneath where my bird is, I'm taking the uh, words to a poem by Maya Angelou called, I think it's called I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, some variation of that. And I just pulled the words up on my phone and I'm gonna write some of that down with a fine point black Posca paint pen. It's gonna give my bird something to sit on and kind of ground him a little bit to the, to the bottom of the page. And then I'm gonna take a white fine tipped Posca paint pen and just do a little doodling around my page. I'm going to outline some of those circles, add a little scribbles. And the Posca paint pen was not acting well with the distre distressed crayon. The wax or whatever it is from the crayon was like making my, the tip of my paint pen get like clogged up and not work. So I kept trying to clean it off on a piece of paper. Um, yeah, so then I'm going to add little dots all around my page. And after I'm done with that, I'm taking this little strip of paper or little strip of muslin that's colored with various distress uh, stains. And I'm just going to rip that so it has like very tattered edges, glue that down with some glossy accents. 
and then I'm gonna glue my bird down with glossy accents as well. And then I'm gonna stamp a focal or sentiment and I'm gonna use a stamp by Finnebear. And it just says, don't forget to fly. And I'm just going to stamp that with some black stays on ink. And I don't know, these Finnebear stamps for me, uh, they lost their like cling. They don't stick at all anymore, which is super frustrating. Um, so I'm taking some Daler Brownie acrylic ink in yellow. I think. <laughs> God, what a disaster. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that around my page with a super fine paintbrush to get super fine splatters. And that's it for this page. When you have a jelly print, it makes everything come together super quickly. So yeah, once I figure out what I'm gonna do with my Halloween videos, um, I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure something out. I was thinking maybe I would take one and try to turn it into a regular art journal page but I did see France had just uploaded a Halloween video today November 4th so maybe I will just upload them so okay thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon bye bye guys